Now this should be a fun episode. Back with the beautiful Sorby knife. It's got a nice rough edge on it like you saw at the end of the last video. If you're just tuning in, I'll give you a quick look. Handles have been removed and we're left with these two nice long tangs here. And we don't have the original handles. So what I have right here, a beautiful piece, Newfoundland birch, dried, set up here on the lathe. So we're actually going to turn our own handles. I've only recently had access to a lathe. I've done a few small projects with it just as a learning process. It's been a lot of fun. I turn this beauty recently. This is a piece of birch. Actually, this came from a quarter of this junk I'm using here. But it's beautiful, really clean material for my two inch antique chisel. Isn't that a beauty? What a monster. So, using that same piece of birch, we're going to turn some handles. Now, it's going to be a bit of a trick. Uh, if I show you my other draw knife, this is an E. Broad and Sons. This, uh, this draw knife was made in about 1890. It is a masterpiece, just a gorgeous, gorgeous draw knife, but it's very fine, very thin, much thinner than the Sorby we're working on. It's more for a fine woodworking, in my opinion. It has these original handles, which are beautiful, but the design, how they're put on, is pretty intricate for my skill level. It's a lovely handle, and I'm trying to mimic this style. Okay, but you see you have a lovely little forged cap here. It's a little bit movable. But uh, I can't imagine that would be very easy to make or forge. I'm not sure how these caps were made. I'm guessing probably hand forged. And then on the bottom here, you have these end caps, also probably forged. And then it, the end of the tang is peened out here. I mean, it's just amazing craftsmanship. Higher than I'm able to do at this time. So what I'm going to try to do is mimic this handle. And we're going to do a brass cap here brass ring which is pretty common from what I've been looking at online for the Sorby knives so that should be a lot of fun and then I don't think I'm putting the tang out through the bottom I think I'm gonna epoxy the handles onto the tang. I think my idea will work but it's always easy in, uh, in theory isn't it? So practice it's a little more difficult. So back to the Sorby knife to get the, this piece up here I have a piece of brass, solid brass sink drain. It's probably sixteenth of an inch thick and I will cut off little rings and it will be placed over the ends of the wood, something like that. Maybe that much of it, okay? So I've got a caliper here that belongs to Ray Bartlett that I'll be using to get that diameter perfect. So this little brass cap fits right over the wood. I'm going to start it off real slow here. Make sure it's not hitting my wrist, and let's let's give it a try. So I've marked the length of the two handles here. So here's one handle, there's sort of a mirror image, and here's the other handle, right here. So and here is where the brass will go over, a piece on each one, I've marked it in the middle. I'm using Ray's caliber here where I can measure the inside of my brass pipe, and then I can match the outside here where this pipe has to slip on over and then it'll butt up against a ridge like so. A little bit of a little bit of an issue because I have some some inconsistencies within the wood here. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I was hoping 
I, I couldn't really see it until I, I was getting well into the wood like you can see over here and then I figured I'd keep going I figured I'd run out of it but I'm getting close to running out of it but it's still a bit there and I'm not sure if I have the room to keep it there because I'm not sure I can go much smaller in the handle than this so I'm going to keep working for a bit yet and uh, we'll say I really hope I don't have to start from scratch with a fresh piece but I guess that's kind of the nature of the game when you're when you're woodworking Okay, so after quite an amount of turning, been here for a little while with various calipers and stuff, the tough thing with this project is that I need to make two that are as close to identical as possible. And that is a trick. It's easy to make one of something, you can get real crafty and make it unique, and however the end product turns out, doesn't really matter. When they have to be identical, it gets a whole lot tougher. So every space here you see is nearly identical on each. So I've left all really rough transitions for now. I find if I try to round them with the chisel and make them pretty, then when you go to a sandpaper, that makes them even more round and you end up losing these nice differences in shapes and curves that you work so hard to create. So if I leave them rough like this, then a coarse sandpaper will just take them just enough so it makes it nice and clean and smooth but you still get those nice elegant changes you wanted in there starting out with some coarse 50 grit and then I'll move up from there get all these beautiful shavings isn't that nice? a more refined product. You can probably see now too easily what makes up a handle. So here's where they'll be cut in half and we'll have two handles right here. Okay so I just separated the handles. Let's have a closer look. Really proud of what I was able to accomplish here. We have two beautiful Newfoundland birch handles. They're pretty close, pretty identical. They feel lovely in hand, just, just nice. Let me show you what the plan is here. Like I said, this is a piece of brass sink drain. See if I can give you an idea if you can see how thick it is there. And just watch this. Do you get the idea? So you have that lovely piece of brass and of course it'll be cut off flush with the handle but it'll just just look at that fit that is a thing of beauty ah, that is something special right there that took some uh, <laughs> pretty careful pretty careful planning to get it to that point that is nice for any of you that don't know, brass is a really soft material, easy to work with. So, check this out. I cut off two pieces, rough cut them with my bandsaw actually, with just a reg plain old wood blade. And now I'm just going to throw these on the belt sander and take them down just about to the wood and then finish them on some sandpaper. Okay, after what seemed like a quite a stretch of time, I have the handles drilled out to mount on this draw knife. You can see here, they both fit up nice and high, not extending through the bottom. Brass fittings are filed to length, they're just perfect. Don't want to risk having too little, I'd rather have much too much than too little. Ah. That should be plenty there. What I'm going to do 
to start I'm just going to pack as much of that epoxy down in there as possible that'll get pushed down a ways when the tang goes in there okay now I'll start the tang and I'll get it so far in and I'm just gonna put a bunch in around it well here I am sitting by my lathe with a huge pile of wood shavings from what used to be a jungle birch wood for the furnace and now we have this right here again this is a sorby draw knife hand turned birch handles Newfoundland birch if you enjoyed this part of the video please hit the like button that lets me know what you guys like leave me a comment tell me what you liked about it in the description or just leave me something nice subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to catch the next part of this video I suspect it'll be maybe the next, the best part of them all really happy with how this is turning out guys hope you like it too thanks for watching